You know, one time I went on vacation. It was great. Today's vlog at day 921. I was sleeping on the, uh, the couch. Oh, it was good. <laughs> what? I'm very impressed, actually. Yeah, you're like, yep. Usually they have that Scientific. dent, you know, from yep. being folded and very that good. was Highly recommend staying oh, on yeah. Jay's couch. That's, that's <laughs> Not that it's an open yeah, invitation. <laughs> no, I think it is. Everyone stay on Jay's couch. <laughs> Anyways, we gotta get them to the train station. More or less, we should probably get coffee first. And then, this is a really precarious tripod situation. I don't know that I should do that. And I don't know where my hat is. Did it fall over the other side? Anyways, we'll get coffee and get out of here and then... The snow, it's really trying to snow, but it's failing. And it, it just gave up, actually, as soon as they said that. There's like two flakes left. Snow in Paris will happen eventually, I'm sure. Sadly, Cody and Laura are gone. Well, I assume they're gone. I haven't heard anything from them, so I think they made their train. I hope they made their train. Otherwise, they might be stranded around here somewhere without internet and uh, nowhere to go. Anywho, I'm gonna go for a little bit of a wander here. I gotta find myself some lunch. I'm listening to a really cool song right now that like is inspiring me, and I wish you could hear as well, but it's copyrighted, so I won't be sharing it. But anyways, gotta get some lunch, and then I think I'm gonna go to the Bose store to finally pick up my Christmas present from my sister. Pretty sure it's Christmas present. It's the time of year, right? Anyway, she wanted to buy me the little earbuds, the wireless earbuds from Bose. I've always wanted those, and I was never gonna buy them for myself. And now, I think I'll go pick up a pair. But first, food and a wander. Park is closed. There's just a little bit of snow left, which is nice. I wonder if it's just too icy for them to trust people to be walking on. I have no idea. It's tragic though. What you really want to do if you're here when it snows, this is what I wish I could have done yesterday. I don't know if it snowed enough, but if it snows just enough, there are guys that'll show up here and ski down this hill right in front of Sacre Coeur. So if it snows while you're here, come watch the show. Actually, there's stairs over here that are probably still open and they'll ski down those too, which is a little bit too intense for me, but you know, still really fun to watch. Mildly anxiety inducing, but still really fun to watch. One thing I've never done though is take the like little gondola here up the hill. Let's do that today. I got no plans for what I'm doing right now. I just want to get a photo or two of a sacred so let's try that. Definitely writing that on the way back down too. I mean, why not? I do love Montmartre, like this neighborhood. I love it. It's one of my favorite neighborhoods in the city by far, and I uh, couldn't stop exploring. So we're not taking the gondola back down. I'm walking pretty much to the other side of the hill at this point. Anyways, uh, yeah, got a little bit carried away with the exploring. Not enough of the lunching. I'm just gonna, we'll see what happens next. Let's just go, let's just go get those earbuds because otherwise I'm liable to just keep wandering forever. There was a blood store that was close to my house and I was hoping to go there, but it's apparently closed. So I figured I'd ride my wheel to this one, 
then it snowed, so I figured I'd leave my wheel at home, you know. And then I wanted to make sure Cody and Laura got their coffee. Really good to see you guys, by the way. Really glad you came. I'm walking instead of wheeling. That's the tragedy of my life today. But look forward to getting these things. And it's national sales. I think I've done a, I think I did a video on the sales before, but in July and January every year, the French go like they have their clearance sale madness and their progressive sales. And the farther into the month you get, the better the deals, like 70% off. One of my favorite stores that I can just get my jeans at, and they've got other men's clothes as well. They have 70% off right now too, so I might have to do that on the way back. Can't buy my jacket, I might need to buy a jacket. Let's grab some earbuds. Ended up in the FNAC because it was closer and they have them on sale and they have the ones that I want. <laughs> That's 400, yes! Anyways, I'm gonna go home because it's really cold outside, but I got them. I have to not to go get a jacket until I, 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 I'm pretty sure I can find my jacket. I don't know where I would have stored it. Hopefully I didn't like take it to America and leave it there, but I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. I gotta have it. Anyways, I'm gonna go home. We can open this, I'm really excited. They're orange and then, uh, and then yeah, I probably should get back to, you know, like working and stuff. Okay, this, this is actually a really good example of why sometimes over-ear headphones, not the best. I love these things. These are great, actually. They've been wonderful, but it's, it, I find myself in kind of a tricky situation where, like, there's nothing that quite perfectly fits my needs, and by needs, I mean wants more than anything, but I generally prefer earbuds because they're smaller, they're less invasive, and they take up less space in my small bag. I don't like having a big bag. When I'm traveling, I really don't want to carry a lot of stuff with me, and those things take up a lot of space when you put them in a bag. The other thing is that I really like wireless. Like, I love not having cables, especially when I'm out for a run or something, so having wireless earbuds is great because not only can you be running, but then I can put my phone down, film myself, run away from it, come back to it, whatever. And I'm not plugging and unplugging cables and worrying about them getting tangled, and it's it's a life save. I love having wireless earbuds. The downside, of course, is that these guys, which I will now begin to unbox, are great. The sound quality and everything about these is like, I'm really excited to have these. I used to have a set of Bose wired earbuds and I had them for like three years and I really, really, really liked them. The downside to wireless though, when you're on Bluetooth, is that it doesn't, it can't sync exactly with audio. So I can't work on these, I can't edit video on these. And that was ultimately what made the decision for me when I was purchasing something new. I'd gone for like a year or longer with my earbuds melting. Funny story, I actually got a date once because my earbuds were melting. So thank you, Bose. I guess it kind of worked out in a way, but those things, they're, you know, they're trashed. They don't really sell those anymore. I didn't really want them. I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna go wired, I really want the over the ear because when I'm editing, especially when I'm on an airplane, it, it isolates the sound a lot better. It'll be much nicer. And when you're plugged into your computer, then your audio syncs up perfectly, which is great. Unlike these things, which don't sync up perfectly, although apparently they sync up better than they did when they first came out. Ooh, it's got like, ooh, schmancy. Now, speaking of size alone, Here's the shiny new case for my earbuds. Here's the case for the on-ear headphones. You can see a little bit of a difference here. This I can just throw in my backpack and never think about it. This takes up legit space. Like there's a book I'm not bringing with me or something else because this is in there. Now, I'm not complaining because I love these things. They're great. They sound amazing. They really do block out a lot of noise even without the noise canceling on, but I'm really excited to have these because I just couldn't bring myself to buy both. I was only gonna buy one. I went with the ones that were gonna be a little bit more work-centric. They weren't gonna quite fit my leisurely desires in the same way. And these things are not easy to open. But these things, I'm really, really excited about. Now, I probably won't ever run with these. Oh, it's, it's got two lights worth of charge. All right. I think they're charging right now, I'm not sure now, but these I'm excited about because these don't only come in black. There was a purple pair, which I really, really thought about getting, purple and blue, but they didn't have them at FNAC, and orange was really where my heart was at anyways. So, this charging pod, while kind of large, is pretty amazing. Let's just see how ridiculous these look in my ears. Just making sure they don't fall out easily. We'll do this. Seems like they're pretty sturdy. Okay, jumping. That feels a little less secure. Anyways, there might be a bigger size that I could put on these and then they'll definitely fit. But, hey, she's talking to me. It says, download the Bose Connect app. Now, I'm just gonna do this right here. We'll see how simple this is because pairing those things is a dream. So how will pairing these things go? Bose has a pretty standard, it's a pretty simple app, but it'll tell you like, oh, there you go. Drag to connect. Boom, that was it. I can, yeah, I, 
I did that. Okay, so anyways, we'll see how this goes. The nice thing is that this will tell you what your battery life is like, and it connects that quickly. And now, whoa, get ready to connect. Take both earbuds out of the case. I already did that, thank you. Uh, English, yes. Nickname it. So I named these ones Sweet Nothings. Whoa, hey, I wanna nickname it. Ooh, and they have a tracking mode, so you can see where they were last, and you can make some noise and blah, blah, blah. I'll turn that on later. Anywho, that's it. It's already connected and ready to go. Let's see if I can hit the music and see what it sounds like. Uh, that sounds really nice. Wow. Wow. I'll figure out how everything works later, but thank you, Karin and Kevin, so very much for this very Merry Christmas present. I'm, uh, I'm really gonna enjoy these a lot. I'm really, oh man. I need to go for a run, which also means I need to do laundry. I really badly need to do laundry, which is super exciting. And I need to send some emails and blah, 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 blah. And I'll probably leave it at that for today. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever it is you are. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for some more exciting earbud action. Nah, I'm just, I'm, I'm probably, that, that was about it. That's the case, we'll just go wandering through the city at some point, I'm sure. I'll see you tomorrow. Nah. <laughs>